Do you smell pizza? No? How about now? Well, it's making me a little hungry, I know that. Hi, I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. And do you see how the visual here made your senses come alive? Well, that's what we'll be doing today, cartoons and advertising. And cartoons and advertising go real well together because it can take an otherwise dull or even uninteresting subject and make it a lot more exciting. Now, for our feature of the day, a real neat cartooning project called The Spaghetti Eater. I know you'll like that one. And for our doodle trick portion, see what happens to a bad baby who won't eat his veggies. Stay tuned for that one, too. Okay, now you're ready to get started? Let's go. All right, let's do our first cartoon in advertising. And in all advertising, there's a problem and there's a solution. In this case, the problem's going to be there's a woman whose roof is leaking and she's all upset about that. So let's create a woman who's upset. And we'll do that with the Insta Cartooner. My Insta Cartooner is a way to create thousands of faces. And we have all these facial outlines here. And I'm going to select that one right there. And I'm going to put this over it just to isolate it a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is select a pair of eyes. And we need her to be angry, so we don't want sunglasses on her, we don't want her sleeping. So we've got to get angry eyes, and there's some angry eyes right there. Okay, now we need a nose. And let's see, give her a nice dainty nose. Of course, she's, her face is not that big. There we go, that works. And now for the mouth. And the mouth, that's what brings it all together. And what we have to do, we can't make her smile on like that. That looks silly. Uh, we need her to have a... A frown. Let's find a good frowning one. There it goes. Perfect. Now, what you can do is you can trace that face or you can copy it, as I've done. Okay, so here's that woman that I drew. Take this off. And now we can get started drawing the rest of the ad. Okay, so now we have her there. Now we need her to have a roof over her head that's leaking. So let's do that. Well, that's nothing more than an upside down V. There's the roof. And let's put the shingles on it, zigzag, like that. And of course the water coming in, and some cartoon effects, look at that, the drops of water. Here's her neck, and she's getting wet. And now we're going to have to draw the cloud on top of her head, which is actually making this rain. And this is cartoon world, folks, so we can put a face on this cloud, and that's what makes it come alive. Inanimate objects coming to life, and that really is seen a lot in advertising. See, we give him a smile, make him look real sinister. He's a rain cloud, so let's make him dark. And the rain coming down on the roof. See, the cloud loves this. It's causing her all this trouble. Okay, that's the problem. Now, we have to draw the solution. So what we do, we have to have the same woman on the right-hand side, and we'll have her all happy this time. Okay, so let's just duplicate her again. Real fast, because we've already drawn her. Now, cartoons and advertising, they're everywhere. And it's up to you and me as cartoonists to keep it that way. All right? Okay, now she's happy because she's going to be a solution. So let's give her a big smile. Turn that frown into a smile. And let's have her eyes shut like that. And her eyebrows up. And she's as happy as can be. Here's that roof again. Shingles. And the rain coming on the roof, but not getting inside this time. And here's the cloud again, and this time the cloud, he's upset. Because he's not doing it. And this could be for, this cop, this indicates to where the copy could be. It says, leaky roof, call so-and-so to fix your roof. And there you have it. And here's some sound effects. Take a look at that in a second. That really makes it come alive too, doesn't it? Okay, let's do another one. Now let's draw some quickies and... Animals have come to represent certain things in advertising and just in, in general, like uh, a lion is known as the king of the jungle. So if we draw a lion for a logo, you know what a logo is? It's a business that has, it's for businesses and has the, uh, it represents what the business is. In this case, it'll be a monarch and we start with a heart. See that? And then an upside down heart. And this will be monarch. Heating and air conditioning, say. And we'll put ears in there. And a nose. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to keep this real stylized. That means less lines. And what we'll do now is we'll draw the layout for the ad. It could be a business card. It could be a sign for a, a storefront. 
and we'll just make like a square around it. And this would be Monarch, heating and air conditioning, and that would be great. That would represent something. Now let's do another one, and this time, what else? Uh, an, an animal like uh, an elephant is known to never forget. An elephant never forgets. Well, that's great for advertising. So let's do an ad with an elephant in it. So we'll draw an elephant. It's very simple to do. Start with an egg shape, a little bit pinched on the top though. And in this case, we're going to have the elephant that's forgetful. Because that's what makes it a little funnier. Because he's known not to forget, so that's his mouth there, that wiggly line, because he's pondering something. And we'll show that by his eyes here. One eye here, one eye there, looking up like he's thinking about something. And one eye, brow is down like that, and the other one's up, and he's thinking, what's going on? Let's give him some puffiness underneath his eyes, and some lines on the trunk, and some funny hairs up there, and now his ears. Elephants have great ears. Makes them great cartoon characters. And, you know, we do a show on cartoon animals, and that's great fun. I know you'll enjoy that one. Okay, now some cartoon effects and accessories. Question marks, because he's thinking about something. Now, if we lay this out uh, for an ad, what we could do is we could have something like um, uh, a sign. We give him a, a square. It could say something on the order of an elephant never forgets or don't forget dad for Father's Day or for Christmas or whatever. And that could help to make the ad a lot better. All right, now let's do another one for a bank. Now, a bank... That's not a very pizzazzy kind of subject or business, and they want to get you to save money. So how can they do that with a cartoon? i got a great idea for that. They want you to save money, so let's draw another, well, this time that's the first one, actually, are inanimate objects coming to life. And that's going to be a dollar right here. Put some dollar signs up there. And let's draw a face on it. And he's going to be drowning. So... His pupils are kind of uneven to make it a little funnier. And here's his nose and his upper lip and his mouth and his teeth and his tongue. And this is all dark and dim because it's inside. Clean that up a little bit. And he's screaming. Let's even put arms on him. He's screaming for help. Put the water in. And there's cartoon effects to make his arms look like they're waving. Okay, now, over on the right, we're going to have a fella that is uh, saving him, jumping in to rescue him. So we're going to have a cartoon of a fella with his eyes in a U shape because he's real happy, confident, with a big smile. Let's give him a crew cut. And he's hands are in the diving position. That's one hand. And the other one, which is behind, look at that. We just double that line a little bit. And let's make his body arced. Put his bathing suit in. And his legs are back like this. One leg. And again, we just double that line a little bit, make it look like he's it's three-dimensional. Now, here he goes. And the ad could say, save a dollar. Get that? Save a dollar. So, an, un an uninteresting subject coming to life a little bit better. Okay, let's do another one. I'll take this off. Now, this one here, I've got a sketch for you, already prepared. Is your sandwich tired? Now, this is another inanimate object coming to life. And, whoops, and food products are always using inanimate objects like this uh, that come to life. And let's draw a face on this. And he's not going to be very happy because he's tired. So let's make a real tired expression. And by the way, folks, if your food has a face on it, you've definitely had it too long. So uneven eyelids and his eyes inside like that. Make him bloodshot. His nose and mouth with his tongue out. And he looks pretty tired. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of color to this. I'm using my tuning pencils for this, for, for the tongue. It makes it come alive a lot more. Now, here's the problem. Now, let's get the solution. And I've got another prepared sketch for the sake of time. 
And here's that sandwich again. And now we have on the right hand side, whoops, I'm moving again, put a piece of tape on this. On the right hand side, we've got the solution, which is a jar of mayonnaise, which I've already got penciled in. And I'll ink it in with you. These are your actors, folks. You create cartoon characters because you're the cartoonist. And the cartoonist is the casting director of a movie. It's the director for, for everything. It's, you're the whole show when you're a cartoonist. You have to decide everything. Create your whole little world there. Yeah, she's real happy. And that ref that's reflected in the expression. And that's the kind of thing you always want to do. Get as much character into your characters as you can. Now let's give her a glop mayonnaise. I don't know if I spelled that right. I think I did. Some cartoon effects up here. Car glop mayonnaise loves your sandwich. How's that? And they're both thinking that. And that works out to be, here, even another sound effect. It's the sound it makes when it hits the table. Glop. Okay. Let's do another one. This time, let's create a character uh, that sells a product. Like, you've all seen cereal products. I know that. So let's do that one. And a cereal product is a great thing to create your own character for. New Soggies. Did you ever taste Soggies? Soggies is great cereal. And we're going to use Soggies and create a character. And let's call him Sog. How's that? And really, it's just one of the pieces of cereal made larger. So we make a shape like that with bumpy corners on it, edges, and he's real happy. So his eyes are like that. His eyebrows are up. And he's got a little nose and a big smile. And you always see this kind of thing. How many cereals can you think of that have the logo, a character that's not a realistic person? It's more of a thing. Let's give him arms. Boy, if your cereal's got arms, you're really in trouble, huh? And he could be saying something like, Sog says, it's the mushy cereal. There you go, and you could have some kids over here looking at it and loving it. And there it is. That's not a little color to this guy. He's a good character. Give some light tan. And a little bit of red for the tongue. All right, that works for me. All right, let's do another one. Now let's do a character, a live person. And it'll be for another company, a delivery company. Uh, and we need a guy to represent the company in cartoon form. So let's have a character drawn from a shape like this. This looks like a rocket. And we'll cut this part right off right here, and that'll be for his head. You can do that. It's a step-by-step. -step. If you're following along, just take it step-by-step. -step. It's very easy to do. And a V-shape like that. And we'll make a bow tie right here. Nothing to it. And right here, we're going to make another line across, and that's going to be for his little jacket. He's wearing a short jacket because he's a delivery man, and you have to dress your characters appropriately. Because clothes make the person, right? All right, now his arm coming out this side. And he's holding the package that he's delivering. And over here, let's see, we'll have his other arm on his hip. And for his legs, well, let's see. Kind of make them short. Little feet. This is a very stylized cartoon. This is used a lot in cartoons for ads. And for his face. Okay, now his face. What kind of expression would he have? Well, he'd be very confident and very happy to help you. So make a friendly face, full chin, and his eyes are looking at us. All right, his ear. Now he's wearing a hat, a delivery man's hat. So we start with a brim like that. Make it black. Put some hair down here. And for the top part, watch this. This could be a military hat. It could be a postal worker's hat, a postman, 
or it could be for a delivery person, just like that. Now, this is the package, and here we have Fred X, I call him. He's a delivery man. Let's give him a, a blue jacket. And color it in just like this. He's a great character. Let's make him color coordinated, folks. Put his hat in in blue. A little light peach for his face. You know, a good way to practice is to go through the yellow pages and try to come up with as many characters uh, for all the businesses that you see. Just go through it alphabetically and say, that'd be a good idea for a sketch. I'll do that one. And that's a great way to practice. Put a little red in his cheeks. And that's pretty much it. There it is, Fred X. Okay, that was fun. Now stay tuned for the feature of the day with the spaghetti eater. Okay, ready for the spaghetti eater. Now this is a great one. And we're going to pencil it in first. And we're going to pencil in a picture of a fella eating spaghetti. So we'll make his head back like that. And let's just block it in with pencil real fast. Blocking it in, that's another artist term. It really just means we're going to get it roughed out. And roughed out's another artist term for blocking it. No. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have his nose up there, and his mouth is going to be real wide open with his chin and jaw out far. And you'll see why in a second. This is a great one. This is a great way to add movement to your drawings. And let's have his eyes looking up. And there's his teeth and his tongue. And now for his body. Well, first of all, let's put a napkin on him like he's at a restaurant. And he's got a napkin wrapped around his face, around his chin. And here's his hand holding a bowl of spaghetti. Now I'm going to go to marker now that I've got it a little bit together. There's his nose, upper lip, and sometimes your pencil, the pencil stage is just a rough guide, sometimes it's exact. It all depends on your style of cartooning. And here, we've got his face, let's put his napkin in. And I'm using a pretty wide tip marker here so you can see it at home and let's see let's have him sitting on a chair and his legs are tucked underneath the table and his other arm and this is the one that's going to be necessary to make this thing work is up like this and this circle here is going to indicate his hand, which put a thumb and his fingers wrapped around because he's holding a giant fork here. And on the fork is spaghetti. And that's all we're going to do now. And for the sake of time, I have got a prepared drawing of this already finished and colored in. And I'm going to put that down right here for you. I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't move. Well, actually, no. I'm going to do some things to it first. I'm going to explain some things. Okay, it's all colored in. You have just what I showed. I even wrote the word gulp here. Now, we have to cut two slits. Now, if you need help, have someone help you because this is a very sharp knife. And we're going to cut two slits, and I'll show you where. Right up here, underneath the fork, cut a slit there. And another slit right on the bottom here where this mouth comes out. And that's all you have to do. Then, 
on another piece of paper, you cut a strip. And I even taped two together, so it'll be a little more interesting, and you'll see that in a second. And on that strip, I just took a red tuning pencil and just went zigzag lines with a couple black lines and made spaghetti. See, it's a cooking show too, folks. And after you do that, you have to thread it through those slits. Now, I'm going to do that for you right now. And you're going to love this. First, you go through the top one. And you've got to come in to the bottom one. Get in there. Oh, yeah, here it is. Ready? Okay, now, we'll put this in position. I'm going to tape it down. And this is the neat part. Here it goes, folks. The spaghetti just keeps on coming. And that's why I taped two together, because the longer the piece, the longer he eats the spaghetti for, until you get to the bottom, and watch this. Gulp. And that's the end of that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to add movement to your drawings. Next up, cartoon doodle tricks. Remember I said we'd see what happens to a bad baby who won't eat his veggies? Well, some friends stop by because they love when I do doodle tricks. And this doodle trick has a surprise ending. You're going to like this. Now, first let's draw the bad baby. Ready? Okay, we start with a bean shape. And a bean shape is a veggie. And let me see. We'll put his eyes in right here. And what do you think happens to a bad baby that He'll won't eat his veggies? He'll get cranky, maybe. He'll get cranky, maybe. That's right. Let's put his eyebrows in, down, because he's not real happy about this. And his nose, well, babies have little noses. And let's see, for his mouth, well, if he's not happy, it's going to be in a frowning motion like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see, we'll put an ear in. Put one ear over here. And put another ear over here. And uh, let's see, we'll give him some hair. And let's see what else. Well, if he's eating, or not eating, but he's supposed to be eating, we'll put a bib on him. How's that? A bib. And let me see, a big curl right in his forehead, and some more hair up here. Now, turn this over, and you see what happens to a bad baby that won't eat his veggies? Turns into a mean old man. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. Well, that's all the time we have for today, and I hope you liked it. Uh, now I've got a great blitz tip for you today. You know, you have to set goals. You know what goals are, right? If you don't put your mind to something and go after it, you're not going to get good at something, are you? Okay, anybody have goals here? You have a goal? Yeah. What? To be a lawyer. To be a lawyer, that's a great goal. Goals could be learning to play an instrument, uh, to get better at sports, whatever. Because if you don't set goals, nothing happens, right? And I've got another way of saying that, and that is this. If you aim at nothing, you're sure to hit it. Nothing. It don't happen every time. I'm Bruce Blitz saying thanks for being with me today and help me out, guys. Keep, Keep on, on cartooning. Keep on cartooning.